Now here's a better way to challenge the supervisor as a lean teacher. So what's wrong with these? Well, they're bad. <laughs> I know they're bad, but why are they bad? I don't know yet. Let's take a look and find out. Well, you know, it really doesn't matter. I mean, if they're not identified, if they're not marked as to why this one's bad or this one's bad, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter right now. I mean, I, you got to know that. How, how else are you and your operators, how are they going to improve the process if, they don't, if you don't have clear data about what's good and what's bad? Do your operators even know what's good and bad? No, they usually call me over and I'll Ooh. tell them. <laughs> No, that's not real good. See, see, what you really want to do is to have every defect uh, identified because you might have 50 of one type of defect and 10 of another de type of defect, and that's going to set the course for how you improve. And, and also, you know, you got to have limit samples or, or some visuals or something uh, that can make it clear as to when you are getting into the bad region. Do you have any idea how you can do this? Well, let's, uh, let's have different bins for different failure modes, yeah. and then we'll add those to the regular work, check them every hour. And while we're at it, let's take a photo of what's good and what's bad and hang it up so anyone coming by can automatically see. I think that's a real good start. Fantastic.